Hello everybody, this is uh, Ed back at the shop. Today I've got some uh, Bortec uh, 305 heads. I've already got the valves ground. We're going to uh, set up and uh, machine these heads for uh, springs with dampeners. Uh, stock Bortec heads, you're kind of limited on uh, valve lift. Uh, so we're going to set up and machine these heads. As you can see here, these are 059s, these are for a 305. As you can see here, I've got this is a stock spring. It fits over the uh, boss, and uh, we're going to machine these. We're putting uh, like a, a Z28 style spring on here that's got a dampener. So we're going to have to machine that inner edge down, and we'll cut it uh, to where it'll be like uh, a small box Chevrolet size. We're also going to shorten the guides. These uh, are limited on the uh, camshaft lift, and uh, so we're going to cut, uh, reduce the uh, length of the guide, and we'll be back. These are the Urson uh, 3000s uh, springs, uh, and uh, this is what we're going to put on our uh, Bortec heads. Okay. Maybe you can see that. Like about a 1260 OD and on the on the inside of the dampener that's like a 765 ID whereas the Vortec head or Vortec spring excuse me are 875 so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to reduce uh, about a hundred and ten thousandths smaller so that the uh, that the that's about 845 we're going to have to reduce that so that the Z28 style spring will fit over that will not go over there so we're going to do this uh, without further ado we'll uh, get set up on the seat and guide machine and uh, show you what's going on. Okay, let's get our head leveled up. We've got it mounted in the uh, seat and guide machine here. Okay, looks pretty good that way. Looks pretty good that way. Get our cutter set up and I'll be back. Okay, we'll move our head up on the column. Give us some more room to the table. Okay, guys, I got back, and uh, you can see I've cut that inner edge down and uh, got our Z28 spring. Fits on there just like a regular uh, stock small block Chevrolet. You can kind of see how much we've taken off there. get in here try to measure this this is actually probably a little bigger than a regular small box Chevrolet but it's just right on under uh, uh, 760 thousandths you 
I'm going to show you another thing here. This is a uh, standard small block Chevrolet valve shim. This is a like a VB203. And you can see there. So that's already so all your regular small block Chevrolet stuff will fit right on there right now. Really nice. So let me get set up and I'll show you how one goes. Okay. Now ordinarily I would like to run a spring underneath this, but I can't. I don't have room to uh, run that. So I have to go really slow. And we are uh, using a single blade cutter. So essentially, uh, you know, you want to go kind of take it easy. I'd like to cut it faster, but it just wants to chatter, so we're just going to have to go really slow. Oh, Okay. The other one didn't want to chatter like that, but we just want to just take it real easy. You can see we've got a nice radius where we blend it into the factory seat down there. It looks really good. <clears throat> It's just like the other one. Really nice. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Now you can't see too much. It's the last one. We can cut our speed down, we're getting toward the bottom. Have a little bit of a interrupted cut there. Okay, we'll get this cleaned up and I'll come back. Okay. You can see there, I'm just taking my stylus and coming in there I can just got just a little tiny step. And that'll be where that dampener sets in it, but that'll be okay. Looks real good. Our uh, and then we can put a. Uh, standard uh, small block Chevrolet valve shim on there and we'll be good to go for setting our, our spring heights. I'll be okay guys we've got our uh, positive seal cutter uh, 
if you can see that that's up uh, there you go 0.562 but we're gonna have to change our uh, arbor or pilot this is a number 12 and when you have 11 30 seconds that's for 3 8 when you have 11 30 seconds you have to have a number 11 Yep, upside down there. There's a number 11. We'll get this put in there. Probably many of you know this, but for some of you folks that don't know this, uh, I'm going to snug it up. We've changed out our There you go. There's our number 11 in 562. And you can see here, now it'll go down in there. So we're going to set this up. Uh, we've got our math kind of figured out here. Uh, basically, uh, Bortec heads don't have enough room between the seal and the retainer. So I've went in there off the camera and I've measured between there. We've got 700 thousandths between the top of the guide and the uh, uh, the bottom of the retainer on the intake. And we've got 685 on the exhaust. So that leaves, uh, with the seal installed, that leaves an effective distance of 545 on the intake and 530 on the exhaust. I like to have 60 thousandths safety margin. So since we have a shorter measurement on our exhaust we're going to go ahead and use that number and uh so basically uh, we with the cam uh we have uh 50 thousandths uh basically about 50 thousandths on the intake and 28 thousandths on the with with the camshaft that we're putting in there it's a 495 502 uh, so we're going to set this up and we're going to cut the top of these guides down to move our seal away from the retainer. And so we have a, a and I'll probably put a little extra in it in case the guy puts one six rockers. He won't have to uh, worry about it later on. Thank you. Hello everyone. We're back. You can see that we've cut this down on that exhaust there. We're going to proceed and
Okay, guys, you can see what we got there. We're all cut down. Our seals will be ready to push on her once we get our final valve job done. Uh, and what we've got with our clearance, we have uh, 600 thousandths on the intake and 595 on the exhaust. So we're more than good. So with a 60 thousand safety margin, um, we're good up to uh, 540 lift on the intake and 535 on the exhaust. So we're, if he wanted to put one six rockers, he's still plenty good, or even a slightly larger cam. Thanks for watching. Okay, I've got just about all of them done. Gonna do the last two on camera. Once you get everything figured out, goes pretty quick There you go. Okay, there we go. We're all blended in. Blended in to the factory machining. Now you might know that that didn't clean up all the way around, but my machining is square to the access of the valve guide. I didn't want to really make them the uh, pockets any deeper that wasn't the mission here today anyways there you have it and uh, failure to do this can result in uh, camshaft failure bent push rods uh, all kinds of valve train problems uh, you can't have any binding I will come back off camera and where I machine the top of these guides I will put a slight chamfer and break that corner on all the guides. The guides in these heads were uh, very nice. They do not need to be replaced. So we'll uh, come back when we do the uh, uh, three angle valve job. I appreciate you watching as always. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you'd please uh, leave a comment. If you got a question or if you want to see something or if you have a question about a procedure, uh, don't hesitate to ask. And, uh, I appreciate everybody, and uh, um, I, I know I haven't posted anything in a while. I've had some things going on, but uh, uh, there you have it. We'll have more on these Vortec heads. Thank you.